Today we're going to talk about provocative testing for lateral epicondylitis and differential diagnosis for radial tunnel. Tennis elbow most commonly involves the ECRL and ECRB tendons. From overuse and repetitive strain, these tendons can become inflamed at the point of their insertion on the lateral epicondyle. Mills test is a helpful tool in diagnosing lateral epicondylitis. Start by having the patient extend their elbow in front of them, pointing their wrist towards the floor. If this position elicits pain in the lateral epicondyle, the test is positive. Cozen's test involves resisted wrist extension. Place the patient's elbow by their side and have them extend their wrist, resisting your motion in a downward direction. Pain here is a positive test. Next, compare grip strength testing with the elbow flexed at 90 degrees, with the elbow extended and the forearm in neutral, and finally with the elbow extended and forearm pronated. Pain as you increase the lever arm is indicative of tennis elbow. Another common finding for lateral epicondylitis is pain with palpation to the lateral epicondyle. Pain more distal can be indicative of a differential diagnosis of radial tunnel syndrome. This involves compression of the radial nerve under these three structures, the ECRB, the arcative froge, and the superficial layer of the supinator. And that's your technique peak for evaluating lateral epicondylitis.